Yo, how's it going everybody? My name is Armando. Welcome back to another Dead Frontier X series, guys. So guys, it's been quite a minute since I've done one of these uh, series, to be honest. Honestly, I, I kind of stopped at that, you know, the last X weapon, whatever I did, because, well, it's kind of hard to do X weapons when they're pretty much expensive and pretty much I depend on you guys or rely on you guys to help me out to do these. So if you guys want to help me out, uh, you know, just PM me on Discord and, you know, be a chat and send me some help. <laughs> In other words, just help me, just let me borrow the weapon for like a day and I'll make a video. And I'll obviously give you guys credits. But today's credits we're giving to R4 from my Discord server. So, yeah, thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. So, yeah, without further ado, let's stop with the intro. Let's get right into the video. So today's X weapon is the XM79. So for me, guys, I am a huge fan of grenade launchers. Not only are they a great way to obtain levels, if you don't have a Wraith Cannon, honestly, but you can easily loot with them. If there's an aggro going inside your building, you can just go behind a, you know, a wall and pretty much you can just grind from there. And there's no risk of you getting hit unless Clayton did some updates for that, which I'm not too sure because I haven't been playing this game much. But yeah, overall, I am a huge fan of, you know, the X79. But let's look at some stats real quick, shall we? So the X79, you really have to craft, find the blueprints. Pretty expensive weapon, to be honest. But... It does 90.86 damage per tick at 124 reloading, all right? So that's not terrible, that's pretty good. And damage per second is 91.96, so imagine that, 91.96, that's that's insane to be honest. Not only that, it, uh, it just uses regular grenade ammo, so the grenade ammo really won't eat up your, you know, bank, but overall, it is a great weapon it really is you just need the xm79 or just regular uh, m79 the x79 blueprints the xm79 parts and of course you need five devil hearts so that's the part where it gets a little tricky the devil hearts you know i always recommend killing them in the inner city because that's the only way you can get devil hearts but make sure you trap them right you don't really need a wraith can or anything just trap them trap them trap them trap them and you should be okay all right you really should but uh, yeah, I think that's enough of the introduction. Uh, let's just go down to the uh, to the inner city and fight us some rumblers, and I'll show you guys how it is in the aggro and how it does great uh, well against the bosses. So yeah, let's go. Oh yeah, I also realized there's 87 percent damage boost, so we may have to calculate on that. But uh, regardless, it shouldn't really affect the performance of this weapon. Also, do you guys like the new overlay? I didn't really like the square one for too much. I feel like it took away from the game, uh, you know, like view. So I always prefer showing the game more than my face. But overall, hopefully you guys enjoy it. I put like a blackboard around it. I think it looks pretty good. I'm not sure, but let me know in the comment section below. So, I mean, with 30, 87% damage, this thing is obviously going to destroy. <laughs> but the rate of fire really isn't terrible. It's like it says, like a grenade launcher. There are some grenade launchers out there that fire like a, like a miniature assault rifle, which are the ones I actually prefer. But obviously, they don't do that much damage in terms of, you know, per, uh, per tick. But uh, yeah, right now, where the hell are these rumblers? They should be around here somewhere. So it appears I went a little bit too uh, high up, so I didn't count correctly, but yeah, let's just go on down. Sorry about that. Ah, Jesus, finally, I found one of these guys, yo. Jeez, took a little bit longer than I hoped for, but overall, here they are. So again, here we go with the performance of the X79 against aggro and bosses, and a little obstacle on the way to make things a little bit more interesting. So like I said, guys, right now we have 87% damage boost, <laughs> which is insane, but... Uh, yeah, I have drug boost, the, uh, what is it called, the infinite one that has, like, the ultra drug boost, whatever it's called, and then, of course, I have the, whatever, the, the event going on. So, as you guys know, I am pretty much dealing a lot of damage here. But, like I said, grenade launcher, beautiful weapon to kind of just bring up your levels, grind, and overall, this one does 91 damage it takes, so, is it worth it? In my opinion, that all comes to what you're trying to build, and overall, what you're trying to accomplish. For me... I, I've been grinding with the grenade launchers before I got a Wraith Cannon. I never really was a fan of machine guns because one, they were really expensive and two, I, I just didn't like the whole, you know, just being random. But with the grenade, it tells you where it's, well, pretty much blowing up the specific area, as you can tell. So you can just focus them in one area that has the most, you know, concentrated uh, zombies and you just take them down little by little. But overall, this grenade launcher, it's amazing. It's amazing. I remember I had the boomer one time to kind of bring up like to level 220. Yeah, I wanted to get you level 220 and it just did wonders. I, I honestly didn't feel the difference between the Gal 19 and the Boomer, but yeah, that thing that I think that weapon was like 50 mil at the time, so I didn't have the money. I just recently bought a GAU, so I was I was broke. <laughs> I was just broke. But overall, like I said, I have good subscribers. You guys are amazing, and someone lent me that thing for the day, and I just got up to level 220, and then I got dusk and I gave it back. Simple as that. So again, like I said, the beautiful thing with this weapon is the grenades. The grenades are really cheap. And it's dealing 91 damage, all right? So compared to heavy grenades that are a lot more expensive become because of the certain, you know, event items, 
I'd say go for it. It's really good. It's just like, like I said, the Devil Hearts, that's where the tricky part begins because you can't trade Devil Hearts in the marketplace. You really can't. And if you could, they'd probably be overpriced, seeing that the community just loves overpricing things. <laughs> it's just how the community is in that frontier. We've been alive for so long that we just know we just know ourselves by now. Something new comes out, blow it up. We realize it sucks, destroy the price on it. <laughs> oh crap. But yeah, as you can see, I already went up 2%. I was at 95% and I already went up 2%. So again, this weapon is amazing for grinding. It really is. But uh, yeah, I think that's all I got for it, really. I mean, I really don't want to talk about you know, just me grinding with it. <laughs> I really don't. I don't want to be making an eight-minute video on just showing off the weapon, but yeah. But uh, as you can tell, it's still doing great damage. 100 damage, 98 damage. So it it's a perfect weapon, to say the least. Especially if you have drug boost on, which I know not everybody does. But if you're like a high level like me, and you just want to get your level 325, and you don't have a wraith cannon. Uh, it's, it's, it's a great alternative, it really is. And you're not spending almost 800 million on a Raze Cannon, trust me. I, I know the Raze Cannon is OP because it is supposed to be OP, but if you're just trying to save a bit of money, I really do recommend the X79. Of course we have the Dusk uh, Launcher, which is also a great weapon. And I forgot the one underneath that is called, but there's one like the second best? I forgot, again, I forgot. It's such a good weapon. See, it takes one, two, three, it takes three ticks in, be in the middle of, of a horde like this. It, it's really good, see? It just destroys most of the aggro in the middle and you just keep going. All right, so I don't know if these guys are flinching, but I don't think they are yet. They're, they're, they're just, oh God, I'm getting too cocky. I haven't played this game in a minute, guys, so excuse my performance here. I'm just not focused on the, zys, the zombies. All right, Mano, so focus on the damn, oh my God, I almost got leapered there. <laughs> also, what do you guys think of the new, um, the new area that's coming through the frontier? I mean, I didn't see the comments for everything, but for me, I'm excited, man. I mean, I, I think the reason why he's, uh, you know, releasing it is because where I think I saw the way Death Frontier was just turning was you get your level 220, your freaking experience spikes up to 60 million, which is insane. It's just a lot. 60 million really is a lot, guys. That's a lot of experience. <laughs> and now we're stuck with the wasteland, which is nothing bad. It's just it's just empty. There really is nothing to do in the wasteland. So hopefully, with with this area coming out, it just kind of gives us a bit of hope in terms of you know, in terms of just more content. That's all we want. More content. We just want more content. So with that, with the crows coming back, which is amazing, and the crows is such a, a throwback, I really hope it establishes itself in the frontier to the point that people can have a lot more to do. Because we're always at a consistent 1.2, 1.9k players, and then when there's an event, it spikes up to 3k, so there are still people looking at the game. It's just that it's not enough to kind of bring back those returning players. So again, I hope with this new area being brought back, or being brought into the game, not brought back, I'm sorry being brought into the game it kind of spikes that whole oh i want to keep playing this game because i want to see where i can you know end up from here but yeah i mean enough with the spikes of level 335 and then let's spike it up to 500 just to stop stop that doesn't help just you know i guess unlock new areas that only level 330s or 330 whatever the limit is can, can only access and can get even better weapons you know some things like that i think one for yeah one finally died jesus man but like i said it looks it took a little bit more than 300 grenades to kill these rumblers if i really focus the firepower on just the rumblers it wouldn't take that much time. It looks see, two more died. Oof, another one came out. So I'm just gonna try my best to just kill these other guys. One hour later. Freaking finally, man. Now to sneakily get in here. Sorry, if you guys hear some background microphone noises, that is my stadium. They're playing a the game and it's kind of the worst, you know, timing, but it is what it is. This happens when you live in a place as busy as heck as my place. It's it's fun, I guess you could say. <laughs> Damn, it's gonna get a little, it's gonna get a little difficult out here, man. Hey, yo, hey, yo. All right, so I gotta, Skillfully surround them. Hopefully, I don't get yeah bombarded. Freak. Okay, we got a katana. Come on, get away from me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Race cannon, race cannon, race cannon, race cannon, race cannon. Ooh, SW500. All right. Yeah, I need. Please move a little to the. No, don't move to the right. Ah, ah, uh, uh, oh. Okay, now they can't hear me. They can't see me. We're gonna. <laughs> Not much here. Yo, caga sangre. What? That crap better change in the new area, bro. Please. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, no, but you're again! What? And if you guys want to see what you get above level 220, it's just not worth it. You get one point, one point for a weapon proficiency skill. <sighs> Hate this freaking leveling up system. <laughs> but yeah, guys, overall, it, it, what do I think about the XM, XM79? It's a great, great grinding slash hell, even a boss hunting weapon if you want to use it for that. It really is. It, it does literally almost as not really as much as a dusk enforcer but it's good it's a good weapon and it's only 20 million that's it 
that's really not bad. I can actually buy one myself, but like I said, when you have an unlimited Wraith Cannon, every other weapon just seems obsolete. It's like, it doesn't excite you unless it's something like that Cry Launcher, because it has a status effect on the zombie. So, unless it's something like that, any weapon that comes out, it's just not really makes me, it doesn't really make me that excited. So, it kind of sucks. It, it kind of sucks. You know, it is what it is. But, yeah, it, overall, like I said, if you don't have a Wraith Cannon, it is such a good weapon for grinding and getting up those levels. And like I said, grenades... I almost spelled it wrong, Jesus. Grenades are AK a pop. But uh yeah, it, it's it's a good weapon. Alright, that's all we gotta leave it at. But yeah, so Armando sending out. Love you guys, and I'll see you guys very soon. Like I said, I'm not done with the frontiers, just it's not a lot to really bring out right now. That frontier is just still at the moment. But I'm just gonna try my best to bring on new content because I know you guys love the the, the game, and that's what my channel is basically you know revolves around. So yeah, I'm saying out, I'll see you guys very soon. Take it easy, bye.